Time now for the executive edge. The surge in NVIDIA shares is catapulting CEO Jensen Wong higher on the billionaires list. Tech heads will be tuning in around the world. Apparently 300,000 people. NVIDIA's recent stock nosedive has sparked widespread discussion. Joining us today is Shea Searle, founder of Bannon Capital Management, known for sharp insights into market dynamics. Despite NVIDIA's recent highs, it's currently navigating a challenging phase. However, strong earnings could potentially pave the way for a rebound. So what lies ahead for NVIDIA amidst these turbulent fluctuations? Let's uncover what implications this sudden drop holds for NVIDIA's future peaks, dips, and future projections. Clearly, NVIDIA was doing something right, but what exactly was driving this phenomenal growth? The answer, in a word, is AI. The world has gone gaga for artificial intelligence. ChatGPT can write you a sonnet. Mid-Journey can paint you a masterpiece. And behind these marvels of modern technology, NVIDIA's powerful GPUs. Companies are tripping over themselves to get their hands on NVIDIA's chips. Cloud providers need them to power their AI platforms. Automakers need them for their self-driving cars. Researchers need them to unlock the secrets of the universe. Demand is through the roof, and NVIDIA is struggling to keep up. This insatiable demand has turned NVIDIA's chips into the hottest commodity on the planet. They're the new oil, the new gold, the new... Well, you get the picture. Everyone wants them, and NVIDIA is the only game in town. So, what does the future hold for NVIDIA? Is this the peak? or just the beginning of a long and profitable climb. NVIDIA's story is like watching a thrilling movie that keeps getting better. They've been knocking it out of the park with their financial scores, and as long as they keep on delivering these amazing results, there's no sign of them slowing down anytime soon. Now, let's talk numbers, because that's where the drama really ramps up. If you just glance at their day-to-day, -day, you might miss the true magnitude of their success. Imagine this. Just last year, NVIDIA was already sitting pretty at $754 billion. But guess what? They didn't just sit there. They've been climbing even higher since then. They're making chips non-stop. But still, it's like everyone wants even more, and they can't make them fast enough. Over the past 10 years, their stock has exploded by an almost unbelievable 25,000%. That's not just growth. That's shooting straight into the stratosphere. This constant push and unbelievable success is what makes the NVIDIA saga so gripping. It's more than just a tech company doing well. It's a masterclass in how to dominate the market by always staying ahead and catering to what the world needs, relentlessly and without missing a beat. They're not just part of the race, they're leading it, and by a long stretch too. But the story doesn't end there. NVIDIA is not just about producing graphics cards, it's at the forefront of the technological revolution. Their GPUs are powering advancements in artificial intelligence, making them indispensable in both research and practical applications. This has opened new markets for NVIDIA, from self-driving cars to complex data processing centers. The company's innovation doesn't stop with hardware. NVIDIA is also a leader in software development, creating platforms that enhance the capabilities of their chips. This integration of hardware and software is a key driver of their success, as it provides a comprehensive solution that competitors find hard to match. Moreover, NVIDIA is heavily investing in research and development to stay ahead of the technological curve. Each year, they allocate a significant portion of their revenue to R&D, ensuring they remain at the cutting edge of technology. Their expansion into new markets has also been strategic and well-planned. For example, NVIDIA has made significant inroads into the healthcare industry, where their technology is used in medical imaging and diagnostics, greatly improving the speed and accuracy of medical assessments. Internationally, NVIDIA is expanding its footprint, establishing partnerships with tech giants in Asia and Europe. This global approach not only diversifies their business, but also protects it against regional economic downturns. Community and environmental responsibility are also part of NVIDIA's ethos. They have launched initiatives aimed at reducing their carbon footprint and promoting sustainable practices within the tech industry. The workforce at NVIDIA 
is another cornerstone of their success. They attract top talent from around the world, fostering an environment of innovation and creativity. Their commitment to diversity and inclusion in the workplace has earned them numerous accolades. Financial analysts have noted that NVIDIA's financial health is robust, with strong cash flow and minimal debt. This positions them well to invest in future growth opportunities and withstand any economic shocks. The impact of NVIDIA on the tech industry is profound. They are often seen as a barometer for the health of the tech sector, influencing trends and expectations. NVIDIA's commitment to continuous improvement and adaptation has allowed them to lead, rather than follow, in the technology sector. Their ability to anticipate market needs and move quickly to address them is a lesson in strategic planning and execution. But this isn't the only impressive part. The rise in share value led to stock splits to keep the price affordable for regular investors, especially those who can't buy fractional shares. What's surprising is that these splits didn't hurt NVIDIA's finances at all. In fact, after the split, NVIDIA's market value jumped by another trillion dollars in just a few months, reaching three trillion dollars. This discussion will look into why these experts are so optimistic about NVIDIA and why investors might want to buy more of its shares. It's important to understand why analysts see so much potential in NVIDIA, a company known for its cutting-edge technology and market influence. We'll also talk about how investor psychology, like periods of buying fatigue and profit-taking, can affect stock prices. Even though some investors might sell to make quick profits, many believe NVIDIA is a strong long-term investment. Buying shares when prices dip could be a smart move for those hoping to benefit from NVIDIA's future growth. But this isn't the only important factor. Staying informed about market trends and company news is crucial. For those keen on the latest financial trends and updates, following financial news on social media, like Twitter, can give timely insights into major market shifts and investment opportunities. By keeping an eye on NVIDIA's performance and broader market trends, understanding these strategies and analyses becomes key for anyone wanting to make informed decisions in the fast-changing world of stock trading. There are reasons to be bullish on this high-growth name. Here are three. NVIDIA GPUs are crucial to AI. Let's start out by stating the obvious. NVIDIA's GPUs and its software suite are integral to most developers and companies operating in the AI world. One could make the argument that without NVIDIA, many of the advancements we've seen in recent years would simply not have been possible. I think that's true. And it's clear that companies are stepping up to the plate and adding to their portions when ordering from NVIDIA's menu. Meta Platforms has been among NVIDIA's largest recent customers of its H100 GPUs, recently unveiling plans to buy more than 350,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. This move will raise the company's expected capex bill to $40 billion in 2024, and also led to the company's recent stock price drop. However, it's a trend that's sticky with other companies, such as Elon Musk Tesla announcing similar orders for up to 85,000 of NVIDIA's chips for its AI-related projects like autonomous driving. Let's see how NVIDIA plans to keep growing in a tough market. NVIDIA's rocketing growth. Can the tech titan maintain its ascent? With present volatility by the end of next week, with more recent volatility could be two to three weeks because after all, it is rising on a pretty steady basis. And yes, if we close the week Friday, uh, clearly above the weekly version of the same at 126.48, uh, then I would see still 160.20, this full channel extension as a likely one to two month objective on the way up the um, rising channel top at 145.48, a meaningful pivot point that can absorb weekly buying pressures and we could fall away from here now you know for the day itself let's assume that we push or open today above 126.27 129.52 is likely. That is the low of the high. It can contain intraday buying pressures, possibly the balance of the day. But if we push through 129.52, 132.08 is our next intraday target. Uh, if we clearly open above 126.27, I wouldn't be surprised to see 132.08 by the closing bell anyway. That is an upside five. To keep growing as fast as it has, NVIDIA needs to consider what analysts are saying. 
Looking back, one analyst noted that if we rewind a year and adjust NVIDIA's P.E. ratio based on actual earnings, it would have been around 6. But NVIDIA didn't just meet expectations, it exceeded them by increasing its earnings by an incredible 2,000%. Now, this has adjusted its current P.E. ratio to about 50, based on future earnings projections. Some people might think this means NVIDIA is overpriced and that expecting it to keep growing at this rate is too hopeful. But saying NVIDIA can't keep growing might be too quick. The company is expected to keep expanding, with growth rates over 100% every year for the next few years. One well-known analyst from Argus, impressed by NVIDIA's past performance, has raised his price target for the company. He believes that NVIDIA is in a great position to keep this momentum going into the next year. His belief in NVIDIA is so strong that he advises investors to either buy or increase their shares in NVIDIA. He bases this on the company's leading role in innovative AI technologies, a field that's changing industries everywhere. With deep learning and tech revolutions happening, he says, owning NVIDIA stock is almost a must for tech investors wanting to take advantage of the latest advancements. But that's not the whole story. And now, I mean, we should have talked about it. This tidal wave of spend, it's coming to the rest of tech. And in our opinion, that's going to continue to fuel this tech bull market in what I almost view as a Taylor Swift moment for the tech bulls. We can get into the broader tech universe, but let's talk about the lack of competition. How relevant is the competition, Dan? It's silent. I look, I mean, for the next maybe two, three years, you'll have AMD, what Lisa Sue's doing, some others. But right now, they're the only game in town. And that's why when you look at the godfather of AI, Jensen Avidi, it's the best read for what we're seeing on the AI revolution. It all starts with GPUs, but then it goes to the rest of the software. This is a read for the hyperscalers, for Microsoft, for Google, for Amazon, obviously chip players. But now it's coming to the rest of software. And that's why this is such an important moment for the market. And I think you talk about valuation. Look, I get it. I mean, many with their 30 spreadsheets and valuation models, they're in their bear caves right now in hibernation mode. Even with these impressive projections, some challenges could impact NVIDIA's journey ahead. One key point to consider is the competitive landscape. Other tech giants are also diving deep into AI and could potentially pose significant competition. However, NVIDIA's strong foothold in this sector gives it a distinct advantage. Here's an interesting financial detail about NVIDIA. They might make over $270 billion in cash in the next three years. This isn't talked about much, but it could bring big benefits to shareholders and keep NVIDIA's stock value high for a long time. But this isn't the most exciting part. The excitement around NVIDIA's future is clear, with praise for its innovative approach and its big impact on the tech world. The busy world of financial markets, there's a lot of talk about NVIDIA's huge cash reserves. Vivek Arya, a respected analyst at Bank of America, has noticed an important trend. We are currently in a three to five year period focused on using generative AI technologies. Arya is very optimistic about NVIDIA's future even though some people worry that the company might be overvalued. Next, we'll see why NVIDIA's value holds strong against other tech giants. The sturdy titan, NVIDIA's stable march in AI's landscape. A uh, news site and newsletter. Um, and uh, the report did cite a spokesperson from Amazon but said Snap didn't comment on this. We haven't gotten any comment from uh, the company either. Um, but uh, Jeffrey's analyst is saying that this partnership, quote, has the ability to solve Snap's two bi biggest challenges, scaling ad demand and improving ad performance. Snap's actually done pretty well this year. Yeah, up around, I think, 30, 35%. Yep. I will say, you know, Mark Mahaney, well-known, mm -hmm. well-respected analyst over at Evercore, he was less confident about this one. Wasn't mm -hmm. as excited. I, you know, to his clients, he was saying he thought this would be less confident that this would be a meaningful positive for Snap as he thinks there's overall less commercial intent on Snapchat, as mm. opposed to, he says, like a meta right. or a Pinterest. But clearly investors right now seem excited by that news. That stock I, is rocking. I am not a Snapchat user, so I can't speak to no. commercial intent, you? Me neither. No, no, no. Yeah. no. We'll ask the youngins in the newsroom, they know. Oh, do, are you gonna have more to say about this next one? <laughs> like we heard yesterday, an Airbnb yeah, anecdote? No. I've done enough, Julia. I've okay, enough okay. Many people compare today's tech investment boom to the dot-com bubble of the late 1990s. 
However, Arya thinks this comparison is wrong. He says that the tech bubble back then was fueled by a lot of debt, but today's investments are backed by some of the largest and most financially stable companies in the world. This big difference makes today's tech landscape much stronger. But here's where it gets interesting. Arya further supports NVIDIA's valuation by looking at its financial numbers. The broader S&P 500 index shows companies trading at about twice their earnings growth, while NVIDIA is trading at less than one times earnings growth. This difference shows that people who think NVIDIA's stock is too expensive might be wrong. Instead, Arya suggests that NVIDIA's stock is reasonably priced considering its growth potential in the fast-changing AI sector. But this isn't the only important point. Arya also believes that the current investments in AI technologies are more solid and promising than the tech investments of the past. This is mainly because today's big tech companies have stronger financial foundations. As NVIDIA continues to perform well, it's expected to keep controlling over 80% of the AI chip market. Analysts at Bank of America believe this part of the industry could triple in value in the next few years. This expected growth is one strong reason to think about investing in NVIDIA, especially when the market is low. But there are more reasons why NVIDIA is a great opportunity for investors right now. As AI technology advances, the tech world is changing quickly, and NVIDIA is at the center of this change. NVIDIA is creating what they call AI factories. These are not typical factories. They are more like advanced software production lines. Instead of making physical products, these factories produce high-tech software and applications that are becoming part of our everyday lives. Now, let's look at NVIDIA's big plan to change how software is made. A strategic leap into the trillion dollar tech arena. And software coming out of NVIDIA, David mentioned CUDA, and, and you know some other capabilities. But for each company, we're showing their related revenue in 2010 and 2023 and our forecast for 2028 for each firm with a CAGR for each of those time periods. Now the methodology we use uh, was to build a series of related models that ingested relevant financial data and then we combine this data with our fundamental assumptions to create a top-down model of the industry as we describe it here. And then we tested this data with two external data points and added a third dimension. So this included, first of all, company strategic forecasts based on their long-term financial frameworks that they provide financial in, uh, investors. The second was inputs from various financial analysts that have made long-term projections largely may be based on their own assumptions or based on company projections for these companies. And then thirdly, we applied our own assumptions about how we see the market. NVIDIA's goal is groundbreaking. They want to create software instantly, adjusting to needs as they come up. This method of making software on the fly is not just a new product. It's a completely new way of thinking about software development. The potential market for this kind of technology is enormous. We aren't just talking about billions or even trillions that NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen, often mentions. The market could reach multiple trillions in terms of total addressable market. But this isn't the most surprising part. Compared to other tech giants like Broadcom, which has been quite popular, NVIDIA's strategic moves could make it a much more important player in the tech industry. If NVIDIA achieves its vision, the impact could be huge 
changing how software is created and used in industries around the world. This isn't just about staying in the market. It's about leading a major shift in how technology addresses global needs. Our recent analysis shows that many people are eagerly waiting for the next big player in the tech industry. Broadcom seems to be in a good spot, mainly because of its big investments in custom silicon development. They might be the leader in this field. At the same time, AMD is also coming up as a surprise contender, potentially ready to make a big impact. So NVIDIA has these libraries of kind of pre-bundled packages of code, according to Sapatnikar. With NVIDIA far ahead of the competition, Advanced Micro Devices, or AMD, is trying to stake a position as the second leading player in the AI chip space. AMD makes both central processing units. Competing with the likes of Intel and GPUs, AMD's share price has risen by about 143% since last year. Jeffrey Macher, a professor of strategy, economics, and policy at Georgetown University's McDonough School of Business, asked, does NVIDIA can meet the rising demand for AI chips alone? It's going to be an industry with an increased number of competitors. Despite NVIDIA and AMD's success, there are wrinkles in their supply chains. Both rely heavily on Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company to make their chips, which will leave them vulnerable if anything goes awry with the company. However, NVIDIA and AMD are fabulous companies. We've been very strict with Dell, pushing them to improve in this competitive market. Despite NVIDIA's recent drop in the market, we believe investors should still keep their stakes in NVIDIA. This isn't the first time NVIDIA has faced a downturn, and they have bounced back from worse situations before. But this isn't the worst part. NVIDIA controls a huge 80% of the AI chip market, showing its innovative strength and smart market strategies. This control has significantly boosted NVIDIA's earnings, often reaching triple digits. This strong performance not only shows NVIDIA's solid business model, but also highlights its key role in shaping the future of technology. And it gets even more interesting. NVIDIA's ability to recover from past declines and its dominant position in the AI chip market make it a company worth watching closely. Over the past few months, NVIDIA has made great progress, and the future looks even brighter. Many people believe that NVIDIA's growth will not only continue, but speed up. The excitement is growing as the company gets ready to reveal its new Blackwell architecture and its most advanced chip yet, which will come out later this year. This launch is seen as a big step forward and could change the industry with its new features. Coming up, we explore how NVIDIA keeps leading in tech innovation year after year. NVIDIA's relentless pursuit innovating year after year. This was a widely anticipated announcement and a kind of essential for the continued evolution of the company's Blackwell chip, you know, uh, about two and a half times more powerful than the uh, the Hopper platform that it replaces. So the B100, that's going to be the, the new terminology to replace the H100. But I think as well as the performance, um, uh, the CEO is very keen to emphasize the, the, the reduced power consumption mm. uh, of this new platform, which obviously every, every corporate is incredibly sensitive now to their environment environmental footprint uh, and so be able to do much more computational um, processes and tasks, doing them more quickly but doing them without being so power hungry is incre incredibly important too. So I think that was an important element too. So yeah, I don't think anybody really heard anything they weren't expecting to hear but yeah, there was lots of fanfare about um, how the world is getting uh, more and more complex and computational driven and that the, these, these chips are developing are going to continue to be, you know, kind of in strong demand. And I think they put it enough to kind of convince people that they continue to to main, maintain a big edge over their, their rivals in terms of delivering these things and broadening their market. You know, their big customers are the big data center mm -hmm. uh, and cloud companies. And there's a lot more that goes on inside data centers than just the processing. There's connectivity between all these different computers and devices and they're getting into that market in a bigger way too. So they're kind of expanding their addressable market into, into other, ways, and, other ways too. And it's interesting, as you say, that they're looking to address the, those energy concerns mm, around, yes. around AI's en energy yeah. consumption. We'll see, see if the analysts um, latch onto that as well. In terms of the moat then that exists yep. between NVIDIA and its competitors, have they widened that moat with this B100 with the Blackwell or is AMD and others, are they catching up? 
It's, it's hard to say. I mean, my initial reaction would be maybe they widened it a bit, but you know we'll just have to see what happens this year in terms of other announcements. But I think they, they, yeah, at the very least, I think they're definitely maintaining it. Uh, probably one of the other interesting things we saw yesterday was towards the end a new robotics platform, um, which actually Disney is looking to use. And they actually had two kind of quite small uh, robots that uh, that are kind of Disney themed come on. Uh, yeah, they kind of remind me a bit of some of the small things you saw in the Star Wars movies. Uh, and so there's some kind of quite exciting things there. And maybe that's going to open up a whole new kind of debate about this robotics platform, how it's used in the enterprise and the entertainment era too. So there's a kind of a light-hearted moment towards the end of his two-hour keynote, which maybe will kind of spark some interest from, uh, from, well, from Bloomberg and others. But that's not all. After this release, NVIDIA plans to update its chip lineup every year. This shows the company's commitment to staying ahead in the tech world, making sure it remains a leader in innovation year after year. Besides just hardware, NVIDIA's strength is in its complete approach. The company doesn't just rely on its chips, which are important for AI. It also offers a strong ecosystem of software and services that support these powerful processors. This integrated approach makes NVIDIA stand out, allowing it to meet the changing needs of the tech world and keep its place as a leader in the industry. But there's more to the story. This ongoing cycle of innovation promises exciting developments for NVIDIA's future. The company continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in technology and artificial intelligence, ensuring that it stays at the cutting edge of the tech industry. NVIDIA offers many products and services designed for AI development. The company is showing its leadership by being the first to take advantage of new AI growth areas like Sovereign AI. Last year, Sovereign AI didn't make any money, but this year it's expected to bring in billions of dollars. This change shows how NVIDIA is strategically positioned in the AI sector. Experts believe the AI market, still very young, will grow to be worth over $1 trillion within this decade. Given this potential, NVIDIA remains a valuable investment with the potential for continued growth. But that's not all. NVIDIA's vision in the AI field is clear from its development and promotion of advanced AI technologies. The company's strong infrastructure and innovative methods have placed it at the leading edge of the AI revolution. NVIDIA's sovereign AI is set to make a huge impact on the market, going from zero revenue to billions in just one year. This fast growth shows the rising demand and expanding uses of AI in different industries. However, there's more to the story. The AI market is expected to grow to over $1 trillion in the coming years, indicating a vast and profitable field where NVIDIA is well positioned to succeed. Investing in NVIDIA not only benefits from current market strengths, but also looks forward to future advancements and opportunities within the ever-changing AI landscape. NVIDIA has been steadily rewarding its investors as its stock value keeps going up. Over time, it's clear the company isn't just holding steady, but is actually making significant progress. But the big question is, is NVIDIA's stock worth buying at its current price? We're interested in hearing your thoughts on this. Please share your opinions in the comments below. So you have complete control on the flow of the AI. All right, so uh, I know that the CEO of NVIDIA described these as being essentially AI factories for various companies or, or business entities here. W what is it going to take for countries like the United States to create their, their own broad AI systems? What is this going to look like? We are really have you know most of the pieces for the for the sovereign AI because the hardware is here in the United States. The uh, uh, we're talking about the talents is here in the United States. It's a matter of uh, controlling the other pieces, which is you know like the semiconductors uh, that use the chips that use in the in the AI. We need to manufacture them inside the United States, and the the data itself. The the we control the data uh, coming from you know coming from different parts or different different areas. So when you talk about but uh, uh, you know, a sovereign AI. The United States is almost there. They they have they have something similar to that. All right. So, what is the significance of this partnership that was announced uh, at the conference this week? What do you think? Is Nvidia truly the future king of the tech industry, or is there another contender rising? Let us know your thoughts. Like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more.